Hey guys, welcome back. I'm David and we're here in my shop where I build E-War guitars. And this is episode number 15 of the series where I'm building these two semi-hollow body electric guitars. And at the end of this series, I'm going to be giving one of these things away. It's a real simple contest. Here's the other one. This is the purple one. It's a real simple contest. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about it, you can go ahead and click that link right up top here and it'll explain all about it. But it's real easy. It's so easy even I could do it. Anyway, uh, in this uh, video, we're going to be covering buffing and polishing, level sanding, the final level sanding, buffing and polishing of both these guitars. And it's so important. I mean, it's a, a buffing is, it's take, it's quite a learning curve for me to, to figure out how to do it. And, and I'm getting better at it all the time, but I, I find it interesting. I did the same video on my last series on the SR22, and I didn't get a whole lot of uh, views on it. Um, I got quite a few, but not, not as much as uh, some of the other videos I was doing. But it's so critical. I mean, it's such an important part. If you're going to do a shiny guitar like this, it's something that it takes, it takes some practice to get it right. And I want to kind of show you where I'm at uh, in my learning process right now in this video. Anyway, I hope you all dig it. And uh, go watch the video, figure out how to get into this contest, and then come on back. And we're going to dig into uh, uh, buffing and polishing these two guitars. So before we start uh, the level sanding, buffing, and polishing of these guitars, uh, let's kind of recap for you uh, what got us to this point. These are all the things that in my mind fall under guitar finishing. Uh, that is for those of you who haven't watched the other ones, I'll just kind of get you caught up. So first uh, I level, uh, or I, sorry, I, I finished sanded the woodworking on the body and the neck separately. Okay, once I got that probably 90% of the way sanded, I go ahead and I tinted the tops Right, and I put a coat of sealer on them, on just the tops, and I left everything else raw. Then I glued the uh, necks into the body. Okay, and once that was in, I finished all the the, uh, the the wood sanding, the finished sanding on the wood, where I, you know, made the neck uh, joint uh, right and everything, and got everything finished sanded up to 220. Okay, then I shot uh, I shot the guitars with two rounds of Simtech sealer, two heavy rounds, sanding in between each coat, of course. Uh, then after that, I sprayed tint on the, uh, on the neck on the blue guitar and the top, and then I sprayed uh, tint on the um, face of the purple guitar, okay? Got that all done. Had my problems. If you all watch that video, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but, it, but it came out okay in the end. And then, uh, and then after that, I started spraying on my uh, three rounds of clear. So I did three rounds of clear. I used uh, Tamco uh, Euro Clear. It's a high gloss finish. I sanded in between each round, brought it with, uh, sanded with 600 grit paper each round. And uh, each round I sprayed three coats. So really total nine coats. Of course, most of that gets sanded off. Uh, anyway, so now uh, we're completely, uh, you know, third round is done. I haven't sanded it yet. Now before I start buffing, I'm gonna sand these bodies with 800 grit because there's just a little bit of, uh, there's still a little bit of orange peel, not a whole lot, a little bit of orange, a couple little specks of dust and stuff like that. I don't want to get rid of all that. So we're going to sand that with 800 grit paper and then go over the buffing wheel and start buffing. Okay, so uh, this is where I'm going to start the uh, final level sanding of this guitar. I use Super Aslix. This is an 800 grit paper. I love the stuff. It's like got a, on a flexible back. And it's, uh, has, it, it, they, they uh, describe it as having a very uh, shallow scratch pattern, which I believe is true. Um, I get away, I'll probably do this whole guitar with one sheet, maybe this one and part of the next one too. Um, anyway, so that's what I use. And of course I got the little sanding pad here, it's a little sanding block, has this micro Velcro stuff on it. So anyway, so I just put it on there and I just start sanding away. As I'm sanding, I'm constantly looking for little shiny spots. And I've got to get a rag. I need to keep a rag real close because I keep wiping it down as I'm going so I can see what the heck is happening here. And I really just go just till all the little shiny spots are gone. I'll lift it up in the, in the light here to where I can see it. And I still see a couple. I see a little spot right there. So I'll keep going with it. I also see kind of a little halo effect right around the uh, right around the uh, uh, three-way blade switch. For some reason, this uh, urethane and other 
clears or whatnot, they'll sort of build up around the edges of holes like that. Got the same thing around these pickups, but it's not too bad. It'll sand out. Okay, so we're all sanded to 800 grit. I know I said I was gonna go to 1,000, but I decided it looks really nice. I'm gonna stop at 800 grit, and instead of starting on a medium buffing wheel, I'm gonna start on the coarse, and go through coarse, medium, fine, and then ultra fine. And uh, anyway, it's a gorgeous day outside, and I'm gonna set up my uh, buffing wheel out there. That thing can throw off a lot of dust. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna set up out there, and I'll take you out in a second, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm out here at the, uh, my buffing wheel. This is my buffing wheel I made. By the way, if you wanted to make one like this, I think uh, Chris Monk at Highline Guitars, he, uh, he has a, uh, a plan for something very similar to this. I didn't use the plan. I happened to see, watch him, one of his videos uh, prior to him making a plan available, and I kind of constructed this basically based on that, but it works really well. Anyway, so I've got, uh, I've got two wheels at a time set up on here. This is my course. See, it's kind of brown in color, and I use this Minzerna 113GZ, and it's called the Heavy Cutting Compound. That's my course. And then on this wheel, uh, and both of these are fairly stiff wheels, the second wheel I'm going to use uh, this GW16. It's a Minzerna. It's a medium finishing compound. And then I'm going to switch, and I've got a flannel wheel. And I'm going to use this Minzerna. It's a very fine, high gloss compound. I'm going to use that on my flannel wheel, which is inside. You'll see me setting that up in a minute. And then the last one I use is this is Glands Max 15, and I have a cotton wheel, uh, cotton buffing wheel that I use this on. Anyway, each one kind of takes out the scratches from the previous. The first one will take out the scratches from the uh, from the sandpaper and then each successive wheel takes out the scratches from the one before and hopefully when I get down to this one right here it's going to be shining so anyway uh, oh and also before you get going each time you use one of these uh, this is a, a, a wheel rake or a wheel comb you just flip it on and you use this And what that does, that basically softens up the uh, softens up the the fibers in the wheel. And then I go ahead and I put on my compound, load it up good. Now I'm going to start with my little back plate cover here. That's sanded as well. You don't push too hard. It's great to do this out in the sun too because you'll see scratches in the sun that you won't see inside. Looks nice. I want to definitely keep it moving. I want to stop and check too, frequently.
Okay, so that was, uh, just went over the whole thing with medium that time. Looks good. Um, I'm very pleased. Everything's coming out real nice. I like it very much. Now this spot here, just like with each grit, I feel nervous getting in there with my, uh, with that buffing wheel, afraid of hitting something or getting it snatched out of my hands. So I'm gonna use this foam, uh, foam buffing pad thing on my drill. And this time I'm gonna use medium compound. So I can do that to get that one spot right there. Well guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you folks who stick it out to the very end. Well, the evil twins are all buffed up. I don't know if I can get any light to dance off of this thing or not, but I'm real pleased with the way they came out. I really am. Uh, I hope you all got something out of it. Like I said, this is a learning process for me. And I did the same thing. I just showed the blue one, but I did the same exact thing with the purple one with only one difference. On the purple one, it, the blue one I sanded with 800 grit, and then I went straight to the four uh, levels of buffing. The purple one, I actually hit it with 600 grit first and then 800. It was a little bit easier. That 800 was just wearing me out seeing the whole thing with 800 grit. Anyway, I did it 600, 800, and then moved on to the, uh, moved on to the four stages of buffing. Anyway, so that's it, guys. All buffed up and going to be doing hardware coming up next. I'm going to, next uh, video, I'm going to start putting the hardware on it, and I'm making those pickups, too. Anyway, if you all dig this sort of thing, how about you give me a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.